This is Liquid Lord and Chef Tango with TCAP Recipes. And today, Chef Tango is taking me out for my birthday. However, with social distancing becoming the new normal, that made our options extremely limited. That is until I found out Lord Armstrong is turning his bathroom slash backyard into a drive-in movie theater. And to celebrate the grand opening of the West Ridge Cinema, Lord's Restaurant has a new dish coming out. And Lord will personally hand deliver any dish you order right to your car. But I would personally like to find out more about this new dish. We're going to make the macaroni and cheese. Chicken pie. Yes, you heard that right. Macaroni and cheese chicken pie. All right, Lord. What's the first step? Two tablespoons of canola oil. Or you can use vegetable oil. Or even some extra Lord olive oil. Oh, burn the hell, you stupid bitch. Next, set your pan to medium heat. Uh, we've got the... Cut up chicken right here. I used one and a half pounds of chicken tendies for these, but you can use chicken breast, stir fries, whatever you like really, it doesn't matter. And the carrots. So you can dump them into the can of cream and chicken soup. I don't think so, groomer. It's my birthday and we're using fresh vegetables. Isn't that fucking sweet? And we're gonna begin with one tablespoon of butter two celery sticks, along with two carrot sticks, and one medium yellow onion. My boyfriend don't like onions. I simmered these over medium heat for about 10 minutes. Lord, what's the next step? This right here is, is cream of chicken soup, so... Just want me to open this here up. I am sorry, Groomer, but you were misinformed because we're adding 10 ounces of chicken broth. All right, I'll pour the butter in there. And next, we're gonna add 10 ounces of white stock in the form of whole milk. Hey, Lord, what's next? Spread one teaspoon of tarragon over this. Along with a teaspoon of oregano, salt, and pepper. Afterwards, add the spices and bring this to a light boil. Next, add 12 ounces of elbow macaroni. Cook the macaroni for eight minutes. Go ahead and put a cover on your pan, but don't forget to stir the macaroni every couple minutes. A few moments later. Yeah, put the butter in right now. After adding three tablespoons of butter. Then we'll put the cheese in. Add about one cup of sharp cheddar cheese. Now I decided to get fancy here and use an 18 month age cheddar. It's supposed to be 13. Oh, of course you'd say that, groomer. And now we're gonna add one cup of our mozzarella cheese. And of course we need more white stuff. This time in the form of heavy creamer, half a cup. Got the cut up chicken right here. After you add your chicken. One can. Peas. I'm gonna stick with my frozen peas. I do have one more question for you though. Before anybody wonders, yes, my hands are clean. I washed them right before I started doing this. Oh, thank God. I'm just glad you're taking this COVID-19 stuff seriously, Lauren. Yeah, of course I do. There's a lot of people that think this is a joke. It's not a fucking joke! Well, yell at me why don't ya? Anyway, now that we're done stirring, we're gonna pour the filling into a 9 by 13 baking pan. Lauren, what's next? As one and a half cups of flour, and one teaspoon of baking powder, which is all mixed up. Actually, Groomer, we're going to add more white staff. This time in the form of mozzarella cheese slices. And yes, you could use a biscuit topping if you want. I've seen me do it. But this time we're going to use a nice puff pastry. Isn't that fucking sweet? Afterwards, brush the top of the puff pastry with an egg wash. I also recommend using an actual brush. Let's see. Bake for one hour at 350. At 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So I already preheated my oven. And so all I have to do is just stick it in there and wait for an hour. My version only needs 30 minutes to bake, but I digress. While it's baking, I'd like to take this time to thank my generous patrons. And I would also like to thank everyone on Streamlabs. And finally, viewers like you for supporting the arm. And there is certainly a huge turnout tonight at the grand opening of West Ridge Cinema. I see a few familiar faces in the crowd this evening. And on top of that, 
the mayor of Cornville himself, Roy Armstrong, has decided to even make a guest appearance. How much do you love me? I just looked in the oven and the pie is done, so I'm going to take it out. This is what the pie should look like right here. Oh man, this looks pretty good. I can't wait. I'm going to have macaroni and cheese chicken pie, and I'm going to watch a movie in your piss-soaked backyard, now known as West Ridge Cinemas. Hopefully it turned out like my mother's. With my fingers crossed. I would say it turned out way better. glass of milk here because I always like to have milk with <laughs> You and your pie. white stuff, Lord. I'm going to have mine with an ice cold Bud Light. Unfortunately, though, they cut you off after 22 beers. But now it's time to cut the background music and watch a movie. <coughs> no, you're not. <coughs> Quiet. <coughs> Quiet, boy. <coughs> Hush. Good boy. The tells me we gotta rather have a fun time. Hello everyone, welcome to the Lawn Reality Show. Oh my god. Kayla. So don't fucking try to climb a goddamn ladder that you can't fucking accept that you don't fucking earn. Will you marry me, good new? <laughs> uh, are you anxious to touch my penis? You control me completely. What? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, go to hell, you stupid bitch. Are you crying? Yeah. Fucking bitch! The fuck you cut? I'm always your bitch. I'm not going to say. This is getting hot, how come? I thought you had blonde hair. Okay, bye sweetheart. We're here waiting for you. Another blow to lore. All rested in a movie played at West Ridge Cinemas on my 37th birthday. And I'd like to thank you all for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. This has been Liquid Lord and Chef Tango with TCAP Recipes. If you like what you saw today, I would give one of these other recipes a try as well. And let me know what you think in the comment room. And remember, don't forget to delete your archives. Bye, sweetheart.